Animals by the Numbers is a go-to guide for any STEM teacher. It gives many visual examples of proportions, rates, and statistics that are sure to fascinate students. The birds nest on an island far from shore. They build mounds of mud that raise up their eggs and so keep them marginally cooler than they would be at ground level. Thirty days later, thousands of chicks start to hatch. Never has it been more important to understand how the natural world works, whale sound, and how to help it, growling. What we do in the next 20 years will determine the future for all life on our planet. Music fades out. They step out into a desperately harsh world, chicks squawking. They cannot yet fly, so they must walk, guided by some of the adults. They may have to trek for 50 kilometers, frenzied cheeping and squawking. In the play activity, students are presented with task cards that show two different pieces of data for some animals. They are then invited to make their own proportion from the data they choose and create a graph illustrating the data. This will give students an opportunity to make choices and create a graph with information that they have decided together to show and collect. We expect this activity may prompt interesting conversations because some groups may choose the same task card but present the data in different ways. The herds follow the seasonal rains, grazing on the new sprouting grass that comes in their wake, grunting. Playing strengthens this calf's legs for the long journey that lies ahead. Grunting continues, snorting, grunting. Eventually, they reach woodlands, hunting dogs, and the dogs are hungry. What surprises you about the animals? How do the displays help you see new things? How do the proportions change your thoughts about comparisons? What do you wonder now? Where do you think you would fit on the graphs? What connections do you see across the graphs? What did you have to do to design your displays? How did you find your proportions? How precisely do you think the proportion data needs to be to communicate differences accurately and effectively? What was challenging and why?
So, are you thinking about how many tongue lengths make a body length? Or how many body lengths make a tongue length?